G'day everybody, another video, and this is in response to a video by a YouTuber called Vlad9VT, and the video is called Brian Forster, New Photos of Megaliths, and I'm just blown away by these so-called quarries. I don't think they're quarries at all, I think they're something else, and I can't explain what they are, but they're not quarries, and I'll show you why they're not quarries. This picture here blew my mind. This is unbelievable. <laughs> see this here. Two long nubs. It's a lot like this picture here. You see um, the pre-Inca or whoever they were, they made these stones with very long nubs as well as very short ones. And if we look at the quarry, it's as if they firstly cut, cut directly downwards a perfectly smooth block. They, this is as smooth as, as, as what they've... Well, they, they haven't bashed these into shape. They've just cut them. And not only have they cut them, but they've also managed to, to carve out a nub and then remove the rock. It's as if they had just extracted rock straight from the cliff as if they were cutting butter with a knife. What is going on here? Does this look like a normal quarry to you? What is going on here? This is some of the hardest rock you can get. The sheep are just the sheep are just grazing over it. Tourists walk past. What's going on? And these don't even look like the pillowcase, the pillow-shaped stones that you find in the Inca walls. This is something else, and it's just been cut straight downwards. I'm not convinced this is natural. This this whole thing could be artificial, just cement. And while it was setting, then they pulled the stones out. It's, it's as if this is a mold, and they they pulled the stone out of the mold. This is bizarre. And there's there's more pictures here. Look at this. They just cut straight downwards. But the funny thing about this picture is the stones are quite shallow, and that's not typical of what you see of Inca stone. So something has happened here. They've cut them and they've filled it in again with new rock or something. Why, why are the cuts so shallow? And they're all right angle stones. You don't see too many of these at Inca sites except maybe Tiwanaku Pumapunku. And yeah, the quarry, okay. That's not a quarry, that's a mess. Look, it's almost like there's dinosaur footprints or something here. The whole thing looks like it looks like wasted cement, wasted concrete. And these are impressions of moulds that have just been sitting on the rock. This is a building site. This ain't a quarry. This is a building site. And they've extracted huge stones directly. You see, this whole thing here could be one stone. They've extracted it directly, all at once. They've cut underneath the sides, they've cut the nubs out, look these are the nubs, they've done it all at once. What's going on? I've never seen a quarry like this, this is not what a quarry looks like, another quarry. This ain't no quarry. This is something different. I'm thinking geopolymer, you know, lots of people in the comments have said, yes, geopolymer. Other people have said, it's not geopolymer. People have told me they've visited these sites and they're clearly carved, granite, carved, andesite, whatever it is, basalt, volcanic rock, whatever it is, it's been carved. This is what people are saying. And you look at this. Why is this so smooth? It's even got some of the vertical cuts you actually do see on the on the stones. It's as if they've cut straight downwards, straight downwards, straight downwards, straight downwards, but it's been done just in one go. And then they've picked up the stone, shifted it to where they wanted it, placed it, and that's the end of the story. Why is this all smoothed out? Is it smoothed out in preparation for the next stone, perhaps? Not really, because the whole thing, like many of these Inca sites, it's been blasted away. Look, the, the top's been removed of this. What's going on? The bottom's flat, the top's not. It, the whole thing's been blasted away. Okay. 
treasure hunters could have blown this up. But many of these places have been blasted away and then there, there, there are new Inca stones on top or around them. So it's pre-Spanish. No one had gunpowder unless they came from China, brought it with them. I don't know. These images are totally... And, and another thing, these Inca quarries, they like to make steps, staircases. You see, they're all... It's as if it's not really a staircase, but it's just one huge piece of rock. Basically, it's one huge jagged piece of rock with many curves that's been removed from this whole area all at once. Like lifting out of a mold. Is that what it was? Could be. It's Brian Forster. And this is what I'm talking about. This is that staircase from one of the quarries. It's cut all at once and lifted and then placed here without any further work. These are the vertical cuts from the quarry, you see? They cut it like butter. Or did they? The archaeological explanation that they just carved it painstakingly and put it here is, is very simplistic and doesn't make a lot of sense when you look at how this was done. This is quite unbelievable. Cut like butter. Thanks.